hello family greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel it's your brother chief lamashegu Sugulana, also known as prince ayoko sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all wherever you are how are you doing how is our families at your side doing and how is your day going yeah so family we are back today with some serious business when i say serious business it's all about this project queen's guest house fence wall project so we are into this building project for the past uh, couple of weeks. So we are at least, I can say we have taken like uh, three weeks to build this fence wall. Castle, right? This is our third week. Uh -huh. So we have been here for, the, for three weeks. Today is exactly, uh, I mean, this week is exactly our third week working on this particular fence wall at Queen's Guest House, located in Tamale, the northern part of Ghana. So family, I'm gonna share with you some important, you know, information about how to design the top of a fence wall, how to design the top of a fence wall using recycled wood, uh, iron rods, as well as uh, concrete. That is the combination of uh, chippings, Chippings is a kind of pebbles that we use here. So it's the combination of these chip, uh, pebbles, river sand, cement plus water. That is what we use to make concrete here. So family, before I continue with this video, please kindly subscribe to this channel if you are new and click on the notifications bell so that you will get notifications to every video that I'll post. And don't forget to like my videos and share my videos with your families and friends. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And keep watching to learn some more about this particular project that we're having right now. I'm talking about the fence wall uh, building project. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So um, with these designs, this is how it is done, as you've seen. So this is the concrete that I'm talking about. This concrete is a combination combination of these pebbles, river sand, cement plus water. And that is what we use to cast our pillars and to make concrete designs. So that is how they mix it. We are mixing it with shovel because we don't have concrete uh, mixing machines here. We don't have concrete mixes here. So this is how we do it. We do everything manual here. So all the work that we do here is 100% manual. And the result is always good. It's very, very nice. So my professional steel bender is here, Kasule. Kasule. So Kasule is here. Kasule is here, very busy working today. Yeah. He's the Iron Man. Chief. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh, so we are giving him. Oh, they said I should give him a chieftaincy title. So he's now my archery. So Kasule is now your principal and archery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's all about work, joy, and happiness at Queen's Guest House. So this is what Kasule has did today, and he's still working. Yeah, you're 
So family, uh, what we do is that after a fence wall is built, uh, the top part of it is having the same measurement that they used to make the brick. So uh, usually, so, uh, mostly, some people use five inches bricks to build a fence wall. So uh, what we do is that to those who know very well about fence wall, when they finish building it, the carpenter will come over and then use wood to make a frame. And when they, they use the wood to make the frame, they make it say that at least it will be about one, fo one foot and two inches or one foot uh, three inches. It depends on how wide you want the design to be on the top because you might decide to use some uh, designed uh, pillars to mount on top of the wall like the way I did. You can see how beautiful it, it, it is. Though the wall has not been plastered yet, but you can see how beautiful it is. So uh, most of the time when this is done, when it is dried, like when the carpenter put on the wooden frames for the design, the mason will come over and cast the design with concrete. But then uh, when the carpenter finished putting on the wooden frames on the wall, the steel bender will come and you know, uh, uh, put on some irons, bind some irons into the frame and then uh, the carpenter will also come around, uh, sorry, the mason will come around and then mix his concrete and cast it with the concrete. So when he finish, this is how it will look. You see how it looks. So when they remove it, some part of it will be a little bit rough and then when they plaster it, everything will be very nice. So this is one tip about a uh, fence wall. Alright, so family, um, you see how we do it. This is exactly how we do it. So, uh, a lot of you will be wondering why there is these metals on top of the fence wall. So, these metals that you see on the uh, on top of the fence wall uh, is supposed to be a metal that is that will be holding the uh, razor wires. We have some uh, wires here. We call razor wires. This razor wires is a kind of wires that we used on fence walls, on top of fence walls. It is a kind of burglar proof ways. Say that, you know, when you put it on top of your fence, no one will be able to jump through the fence. Though here we don't have such problems, but you know, it is said that prevention is better than cure. Because I'm, I'm building this fence wall just because I want uh, my guests who will be coming here at Queen's Guest House to be 100% secured, to have full confidence and not to even you know, think about any kind of, you know, unsafe uh, things. Or uh, for safety reasons, this is how I'm doing it. And this is the reason why I'm doing it. So the metals you see on top of the fence wall is going to, is supposed to be holding uh, some uh, nets. It's a kind of net that we use and a kind of uh, cables. It's a kind of nets and cables. We call it burglar proof uh, uh, wires so that's what they are going to use here 
after the fence wall is finished those who are doing it will also come over and install it so this is the metal that is holding That's how we do it. So like I already explained to you in this video, you can see how the metals is, uh, they put on the metals on top of the frame. So this is exactly how they do it here. And not only here, to those who are professional builders, this is how they do. This is exactly what our professional builders do. You make sure that you make the wall very strong said that it will last forever and longer it will be able to last to, to have a long life span because this particular project is a generational project it's a project that is supposed to last much 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 longer and still look good and strong as well as solid So all this wood that we are using here are recycled wood. There are woods that uh, there are wood that have been using here uh, since last year. So um, here we don't just use uh, things at once without using it again. So um, this is one thing that you have to know about building projects. When you buy wood to work, you can use it for a long time. Even when you have to buy new wood, you can still use the old ones to do whatever you want and you have a good resource. So it's not, uh, everything is not about buying new, buying new, buying new, no. When you have good workers, they can use your materials very well and you will never have problem. All right, so family, you see how we do it. This is exactly how we do it. And you can see my professional mason being busy doing his job. And there's a lot of cement in the concrete. That's one thing you have to know. Always make sure that there's a lot of cement in the concrete so that it will be strong. So family, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you so much for taking your time to watch as well as, you know, just taking your patience to watch. I appreciate you all and I love you all, family. So please, like I always tell you, 